Soaring high, an introduction to air travel vocabulary. Hello, language learners. Today we're going to take to the skies and learn about air travel vocabulary. This is part of our larger series on travel and transportation vocabulary. So let's buckle up and prepare for takeoff. Before we start our journey, let's look at the various types of aircraft you might encounter while traveling. The most common type of aircraft is an airplane, which is a powered flying vehicle with fixed wings. A smaller, private version is often called a jet. Other types of aircraft include helicopters, which have rotating blades on top, and hot air balloons, which fly due to hot air rising. An airport is where your journey usually begins and ends. There are many terms related to airports. Terminal. This is the area where passengers wait to board their flight. Gate. This is the specific area in the terminal where you board your plane. Runway. This is where airplanes take off and land. Tarmac. This is the paved area where planes are parked, loaded, or unloaded. Control Tower. This is the building from which air traffic controllers direct aircraft. Once you're in the air, there are even more terms to learn. Takeoff. This is the phase of flight in which an aircraft goes from the ground to the air. Landing. This is when the aircraft returns to the ground. Turbulence. This is a sudden, violent, irregular movement of air during flight usually caused by changes in air pressure. Cabin. This is the part of the airplane where passengers sit. In-flight service. This refers to the food and drink service provided by the airline during the flight. It's also important to know the people who make your flight possible. Pilot. The person who flies the aircraft. Co-pilot. The assistant to the pilot. Flight attendant, the airline staff responsible for passenger safety and comfort. Air traffic controller, the person who coordinates the movement of aircraft on the ground and in the air. And we've safely landed back on the ground. I hope this overview of air travel vocabulary has been helpful and informative. Remember, the key to mastering a new set of vocabulary is repetition and practice. So try to use these new words in a sentence today. As always, keep practicing, keep learning, and we'll see you on our next English language journey. Safe travels!